One of the great things about Android is that if you don't like the stock services or applications, you can generally find a replacement fairly easily. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is another look at Android web browsers. One of the awesome features of Android is the fact that if you don't like the stock applications, you can generally find replacements in the Play Store. Third-party browsers, for instance, are some of the most popular applications out there. Now, with the Jelly Bean update, Google changed the stock browser to Chrome, which has a long list of features that really set it apart from other browsers. However, there are some features from the old stock browser that are missing. And one of the most complained about things in Chrome is performance. When you tend to zoom quickly or scroll quickly, you get a little lag and you get a little bit of what some people refer to as checkerboarding. Now with Chrome, it doesn't necessarily display a checkerboard, but you do have a lot of white that displays when the page cannot render quickly enough from the cache. But there are some awesome features such as your tab sync with Chrome and requesting the desktop site and even your bookmark sync with your Google account. But some people don't feel that outweighs the performance bugs. Probably the most popular third-party browser is Dolphin. It's available for iOS and Android, and it has a bevy of unique features that really set it apart from the competition. Um, one is performance. It is extremely fast, and there is very little checkerboarding or lag when quickly zooming or scrolling. There is also a gesture navigation option, which you can slide from the left or right side of the page and access different panels. Um, tap on the lower corner, and you have quick access to voice search and a quick shortcuts through gestures. You can draw a letter and open up you know, Google search. From the right side, if you switch, you can access your add-ons, which there are dozens, maybe hundreds, maybe even thousands of different plugins that you can install that really add to the experience. Um, I, for one, use LastPass religiously, and there is a LastPass add-on, which is awesome. And backing out of the application, you can also clear cache and history quickly and easily. Another one of the most popular Android browsers out there is Firefox. Much like its popular desktop version, Mozilla created a mobile version for Android users. Like Dolphin, it has add-ons and plugins that really add to the experience. And like Chrome, it features Tab Sync with the desktop version of Firefox. It also has a request desktop site function, which will get you from the mobile version of a site to a full version. However, if the site does not support that function, you are stuck with the mobile site unless they provide a link directly to the full site. Unlike Dolphin, however, Firefox suffers from some serious performance issues. Scrolling is inconsistent, pinch to zoom suffers from some serious lag, and scrolling quickly reveals some checkerboarding and some other performance flaws. I've had issues with the browser jumping up when I'm scrolling down and other really weird quirks. The final browser we'll talk about in this video is Skyfire. It is definitely not the most powerful browser out there and it's not the most amazing. It's more so a social browser than just a web browser as the developers built this with sharing in mind. It suffers from some performance issues. Zooming is a little jumpy, less so than Firefox. Pinch to zoom is not nearly as jumpy as it is on Firefox. However, zooming out requires several pinches. You can't just pinch really quickly and zoom all the way out. You have to pinch about three, four, maybe five times. But as you notice, this application is set up more for sharing than anything. You have your native Android sharing options, but you also have one-click sharing for liking on Facebook, sharing to Facebook, Twitter, and other social accounts. This browser also has Flash built in, which is very important for some users since Chrome nor Android officially support Flash anymore. And now for the good stuff, a head-to-head -head battle between all four of these browsers. I cleared the data and headed over to The Verge's homepage to see which one would be first. Chrome took the crown by just a slight margin over Dolphin, Firefox came in third, and then Skyfire came in last as it's still loading while the other three are fully loaded. It also zooms in all the way by default, so you have to pinch to zoom to get it all the way out after the page fully loads. Google also recently launched a beta version of Chrome, which fixes some of the performance issues and lag. There is less checkerboarding when you're panning and zooming around, and it performs better overall. However, it's still a beta and there are some bugs. So if you've been thinking lately that Chrome is lacking features and the performance isn't exactly what you need, never fear. There are plenty of browsers out there in the Play Store that perform just as well, if not better, and offer a bevy of awesome features like plugins and add-ons. 
As always, be sure to like the video, and if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on any of your social networks of choice. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Smartphones, tablets, wireless technology. If that's the kind of stuff that gets your flag waving, Pocket Now has you covered. We've filmed over 2,500 videos, from in-depth reviews of the newest devices, to special features like After the Buzz, to news and entertainment like the Pocket Now Daily Broadcast and the Pocket Now Weekly Podcast. And we're adding more every day. We've been around for over a decade, but the adventure is just beginning. Join us for the journey. Subscribe to Pocket Now.